Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is experimental video number one. My Monday routine. Let's call it the ideal Monday routine. Well, here's the problem. <laughs> I did not have an ideal start of the day. What does that mean? It means last night I was out with uh, Mr. Dylan and we had uh, after sauna. We had some uh, spicy food and uh, <clears throat> it was nice. <laughs> can't, I can't lie, it was nice. MashaAllah, but it got me to go to the toilet every other hour last night. Every other hour I was visiting the restroom and it got me really... Mm, so I couldn't, have, I couldn't sleep well. But anyways, alhamdulillah, woke up for Fajr, cancelled the morning class. Um, probably I would have another class online, but all cancelled. Woke up at 10 a.m. That's one of my cars, I mean, one of my neighbor's cars, say mashallah. So, what's happening now? Just quick popping into Abu Muhammad's house. I'm gonna have some dahi, you know, dahi. Uh, zabadi. Uh, zabadi. Ma ta'arifu zabadi? Uh, you guys don't understand English. I mean Arabic. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have some yoga and then heading straight to the masjid and I'll show you guys what I do in the masjid. What's up guys? What, what's up guys? <laughs> you having good times? Type. That's Abu Muhammad there. Yeah. I'll show you some of his uh, great uh, achievements. A uh, lemon, <laughs> lemon, lemon, lemon tree. What else, Abu Muhammad? Show us more. No. Uh, that's na'na. They call it mint. That's mint there. Whoa, what's that? Uh, fruit. 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 What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> Alright, so he's saying show them the um show them the that show them that before and then I'll show you afterwards. Probably in summer. And summer? probably they have some nice food. Well, Muhammad, what did you cook there? Yeah. Uh, uh, grill. Huh? Grill? grill. He had grill yesterday. Where is my grill? Yeah, I'm full good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go inside. So this is the kitchen. Uh, this is the mazra, the garden. Abu Muhammad, Abu Muhammad's garden. Uh, this is your garden. Made in Abu Muhammad's kitchen uh, there. There. This is a uh, olive oil. Yeah. Olive oil. Kenan. <laughs> Well, what are you doing? I'm making coffee for you. So he's making me coffee. He got, he went all the way up there to get a cup. And now he climbed all the way from there, up there, to turn the kettle on. Oh my God, he's short. <laughs> People Masjid. So I had yogurt, coffee and a few other things which I can't talk about. One thing I'm really trying to avoid um, since the dawn of last week is carbohydrates and sugar. I'm really trying to avoid, you know, roti, dabar roti and roti roti um, taking this I burnt the coal and I burnt some of the bakhur in Abu Muhammad house now I'm letting the stone road smell the the beautiful smell yes as I'm taking it to the masjid 
to start my first lesson of the day. Yes. Yeah. رؤيس في الموت لا تارو لا تارو فأما من ثقلت موازينه just like هما زه فهو في عيشة راضية راضية وأما من خفت موازينه تا خفت يدوسي خفت موازينه خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية بسم الله After leading Zuhur prayer, I was on my iPad. <coughs> um, I did some of my university work, and also I had a business to look after. So I was trying to monitor a few things on my iPad. And as soon as everyone left, I what did I do? Raining. I never take an umbrella. So after everyone left. I took a hoover, I hoover the first floor a little bit because <coughs> I, that's my cardio by the way <laughs> so my cardio is when I clean my sleep and next there is a, there's something called 7 minute uh, intensive workout to lose my belly fat so I did that and now I'm leaving the masjid, heading to my room now I should be going to gym ideally at this time but um, I need to get a few more things done in regards to business and I haven't read Quran yet so I'll see I'll see when I finish those things and if I do I'll be heading to the gym so <laughs> I didn't go gym I spent the last 45 minutes to an hour uh, looking at a few things looking after the business basically and 
Then I found a very important video that I think I should watch twice. It's called Jordan Peterson, People Who Overanalyze. You know, in this age and time, sometimes I feel like there are more solution to your solutions to your problems than going to a doctor or looking. I don't know. I just feel that way. You can just Google it or you can just go on YouTube and type something and you can come up with few titles and you watch these videos and, you know, then YouTube recommend few videos to you and that'd be pretty helpful. If I get to bed and I try to fall asleep and I can't, I would not waste my time just being in bed. I was feeling lazy. I came to my room. I was in my bed using on my iPad doing few important things. If I do feel sleepy, I would turn everything off, put an alarm on my iPad, turn the uh, Wi-Fi off and wake up and get ready for my next task. Next task. If I don't fall asleep, like right now, like a ulu, <laughs> like I'm tired and I'm still, a, my eyes are still wide awake, wide open and awake. I would carry on doing some work, but in a very relaxed mindset. <sighs> <laughs> Feeling you feel after praying also. These kids are here to ruin my feelings. I'm going to the camera and I'm going to be happy after the Salat al Asr. Why? Because I prayed the Asr. And the Sheikh was very nice. I mean, I mean, the Sheikh is saying, Allah is Akbar. Allah is Akbar. But the Sheikh is saying, Allah is Akbar. Allah Akbar. Yeah. Yes. Kenan, how was the uh, prayer? Asr prayer? Very, very beautiful and nice. Awesome. <laughs> He's about to bump into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, give me money, I'll go and get a drink from Pesco for this cheap one. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense? Yeah. yeah no, I'm too big. Look at me. You're too big because you're standing on a chair. Feet on the floor. Feet on the floor. What's the story today? Focus. What Try them up. Huh? And then you have to be able to see all of them first. Right out. And that's gonna be lost. Obviously, yep, that's it. Good. This. Yeah. You're trying to copy this. Are you? Yeah. Uh, very nice. So I'm in a madrasa right now. Having a great time. You pay more attention to others, but you understand them less. The part of the lifestyle which makes it distrustful of others. Loneliness makes you assume the worst about others' intentions towards you. Because of this perceived hostile world, you can become more self-centered to protect yourself, which can make you appear more cold unfriendly and socially awkward than you really are. If loneliness... You tell your teacher, you tell your parents, uh, Mom, you know, I wanna go to my cousin's house. Mom, can we do this? Can we invite friends to our house? You know, it's lonely, it's that. Now, you don't go to your parents and say, Mom, I don't wanna do my homework. Can you get me more people in our house so I can play and mess about? That's not it. When you do homework, it's supposed to be alone. You're supposed to do it alone. Okay. You need to sit down. Did you get scared?
enemy. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a paper. No, 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 no. I'm gonna give you guys a paper. Basically, I'm I'm trying to I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And I'm going to. So, I'm all alone in the masjid right now. Um, basically, after madrasa, after tahfil, I do have a um, one to one session with someone. Um, he's away. He's in France. Uh, in uh, S Spain. Spaniano. Um, so, that's one. I tried to book another session, another class with a student who I teach online. Um, he's also out. Um, he's also. Uh, some birthday party. <laughs> He's attending some birthday party. Some cake and probably biryani and <laughs> nice food, uh, I, I assume. And so, what I'm trying to do right now, being the most productive person on this planet, <laughs> um, I'm going to set some new targets. No, I do have things that I, I know I, I need to do. So, I'm going to get my laptop and I'm going to travel to Seven Kings. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to travel to Seven Kings. <sighs> to be fairly honest, this today I didn't have a nap. The reason I didn't have a nap today is because... Uh, let's talk about the nap on the bus stop. Let's go. So we're supposed to talk about the nap. When I got to the bus stop, the bus was already there. So I couldn't make the video, so I'm here in Seven Kings. That's the Seven Kings station. There's a hospital up there. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I'm feeling well. I don't need hospital. Yeah, we were talking about the nap. I have to. No, no, I don't have to. It's must. I must take a nap during the day. If I don't, I feel like giving up the rest of my day. Uh, so today, after I was teaching. Um, Ibrahim, I felt completely dead and I literally wanted to come back and sleep. For some reasons I I got distracted and I forgot how tired I was, <laughs> which is a good thing. So I came to Madras and started teaching. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's something extremely important and it's very helpful too. It's extremely helpful. The reason I couldn't fall asleep today, around 3, 2 p.m because I didn't have an early morning so I woke up late couldn't fall asleep couldn't have a nap and felt really tired <laughs> but anyways problem solved I was trying to well I'm already reaching my Khala house and uh, yeah let's talk when we get to Khala house I think I should add this in the vlog so this is my Lovely Hala's house. Let's turn the light off. It's, uh, it's a very beautiful house, as we can see. I can't show you more privacy. There's a nice clock there. <laughs> 